was good, was popping. I was disgusted when I saw this come across my timeline. Because the reason why it disgusted me, I am the oldest sibling out of all my siblings. I'm number I'm the I'm number one out of five. This 18-year-old killed his eight-year-old brother. He murdered his eight-year-old brother. 18 years old in Baltimore charged with murder of his eight-year-old brother using a gun he received in exchange for a puppy. What? Are, you, are, are we serious here? An 18-year-old from Baltimore has been charged with the murder of his eight-year-old brother. Authorities say he used a shotgun he received in exchange for a puppy. You use a 12 gauge on your brother? The person you're supposed to protect in this world that we live in? Have you no shame? Devin Wilson was arrested Tuesday in connection with the December 30th killing of Dylan King. WBAL TV 11 reports police charged him with first and second degree murder. Police reports show Wilson was watching four younger siblings ranging from two to eight years old when the shooting occurred. He called his mother before the police asking her to come home because Dylan had been shot. When his stepfather arrived, he told him the young boy had, had accidentally shot himself. But police disproved that claim because of the gunshot pattern found on the walls. How is an eight-year-old going to shoot himself with a shotgun? He has to be able to turn it around. He can't reach for the trigger. The 18-year-old is lying. When the police responded, they found a neighbor performing CPR on Dylan. He was rushed to a local hospital and later pronounced dead. So the real key, we need answers. Why would this man shoot his brother? Like, what happened to the love in this generation? Like, based off this picture I'm seeing, he don't look right. He don't look right mentally. He don't look right mentally. Then all of a sudden, you heard this screaming and yelling. Robert Carter, a neighbor, told told WBAL TV 11 of what he heard at the time of the shooting. Then we found out the child died, but we but we still didn't know what happened until a day later. As they searched the home, authorities found Wilson upstairs sobbing hysterically. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wow. So basically, as they searched the home, the authorities found Wilson upstairs sobbing hysterically in blood soaked clothes, pointing a gun at his forehead. That should let you know the 18 year old did it. 
You don't need to do no more investigations if this kid is trying to off his self for what he did. Police were able to talk to talk the team into putting down the gun. To tell you the truth, to tell you the truth, I'm not going to tell you a lie. We need to put down the gun. Some everybody doesn't need one. Everybody's not mentally stable to be having guns. He was later transported to the hospital for evaluation. He wasn't criminally charged with anything then, but was in police custody for a psychiatric evaluation because of his suicide threat. The, med the medical examiner ruled Dylan's death a homicide by, by a single gunshot wound. Wilson was transported to the Department of Public Safety Central Booking and Intake Center. The 18-year-old had no prior record or run-ins with the law. Like, this is crazy. So, Dylan was one of the 12 siblings. His family states they all shared an inseparable bond. They, they, they shared a bond, but that bond must not have been that tight for him to shoot his younger brother. Like, are we serious? <laughs> so, the only way for the eight-year-old not to be uh, he could trade he could have treated the gun like a toy. How can he treat like a toy when he's an adult? This is an adult man. And he's in jail with no bond. Although it's unknown who Wilson completed the trade with for the firearm. The transaction was legal as the outlet states that Wilson was 18 and had no criminal history when he bought the Silver Eagle pump action shot. You got a Silver Eagle pump action shotgun? You traded it for, you traded your puppy for the gun? The world we live in is a crazy place. The world we live in is a crazy place. Comment down below how you feel about this situation.